Graph of a linear in equation in two variables. In this module, you will learn how to represent the graph of a linear in equation in two variables. You may know that a linear equation in two variables, when shown on a graph, always produces a straight line. A common form of a linear equation in two variables, say x and y, is y equal to m x plus c, where m and c are real numbers. The constant C represents the point at which the straight line cuts the y-axis. The straight line, say AX plus BY is equal to C, divides the plane into three sets of points. A set of points on the line, a set of points on one side of the line, and a set of points on the other side of the line. The set of points on the line represents the equation AX plus BY is equal to C. The other two sets of points represent the inequalities AX plus BY is greater than C and AX plus BY is less than C and vice versa. The set of points on the line and that on either side of the line together represent the inequality AX plus BY is greater than or equal to C or AX plus BY is less than or equal to C. We'll use this discussion to show an inequality on a graph. Suppose you need to draw the graph of an inequation. y minus x is greater than 1. First, replace the inequality sign by an equality sign in the given inequation. Then change the equation obtained to the form y equal to m x plus c. Now you need to locate this equation graphically. To show the graph of the equation, draw two perpendicular lines as shown. The horizontal line represents the x-axis and the vertical line represents the y-axis. Also, the point of intersection of x and y-axis represents the origin. Mark the positive and negative values on both the axes using a suitable scale. Now substitute any three distinct values of x in the equation and find the corresponding values of y. Mark the three obtained points on the graph and join them. The line joining the three points is a straight line representing the equation y minus x equal to 1. This line divides the plane into two regions. Now consider a point say 0, 0 in one of the regions and substitute it in the given inequation. The point does not satisfy the given inequation. Thus, this region does not represent the given inequation. This means that the points lying in the opposite region satisfy the given inequation. Thus, shade the opposite region. The set of points in the shaded region represent the inequation y minus x is greater than 1. 
Thus, you can draw the graph of any linear inequation in two variables by first assuming the inequation as an equation. Now convert the equation to the form y equal to mx plus c. Next, select any three values of x and find the corresponding values of y. Now draw x and y axis. and mark the positive and negative values on both the axes using a suitable scale. Now mark the three obtained points on the graph and draw a line joining the points. The line represents the graph of the equation that divides the plane into two regions. Now select any one point in one of the regions and substitute its x and y coordinates in the given inequation. If the point satisfies the inequation, then shade that region. Otherwise, shade the opposite region. The shaded region represents the given inequation. In this module, you have learned how to draw the graph of a linear inequation in two variables.